Hey, it's Mike and John, Mike Marino and John King from Mike and John Got It Going On. And my first beef this morning is, how come you get to do the intro? Oh, what intro? Our intro. Oh, the recorded, the yeah. The recorded oh, intro. Right. It's, it's kind of like, it's very newsy-like. It's like, yeah. this is Mike and John. <laughs> Mike and John Got It Going On. Should I have done it in a different place? I don't know, something a, a little more spunk Like an English it. accent or something? <laughs> or... Hello, good morning. Just, I don't know. I, I'm just saying, it, okay. it, 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 it's not bad. Right. But you know, I, it's it was, only day we, four. we needed something to just. I just, you know, we needed some sort of it's, an opening, and so I just put it together for launch. You know what? It's it's there, but it's kind of you're <laughs> perfectly welcome to go ahead and put together your own opening. Good morning, everybody. It's Mike and John got it going on. Oh, with Mike yeah. Marino and John King. Yeah. And John King. <laughs> Mike Marino. <laughs> and John King. Say something like that. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. You uh, know, what would be cool if we if we could get a you know, um, kind of a sexy girl voice. Oh. You know. Uh, a female to say okay good morning <laughs> okay it's, easy i'm just saying it, easy it, just to catch attention right <laughs> draw attention to us all right okay. and you know the other beef I <laughs> all right wait i'm starting off before you get to the beef section we gotta re re let's remind everyone of course uh mike and john got it going on brought to you by firehouse doors located in livingston county serving residents for 24 years family-owned business striving to treat each customer like family and until April 1st, when you call Firehouse Doors, tell them Mike and John sent you, you get 5% off your entire bill. Number to call is 810-599-7480. And by the way, we yeah. would like to thank mm -hmm. Firehouse Doors yeah. for our new Mike and John Got It Going On yeah. Look, uh, microphone. Yeah, this is Pretty cool. so awesome. Uh, so, yeah, they, they brought this over last night, and look how cool this thing is. That is pretty cool. It doesn't really work. I mean, it's... A, no, but it's a nice... Yeah. Uh, it's a nice addition to our yeah. groovy little pod pad. Well, exactly. Yes. And, Did you give them a tour um, when they came by? They really weren't interested <laughs> in coming to see. They've seen enough, They're I like, think. Uh, I mean, it's like, you know. It smells kind of like two old yeah, guys in yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, I don't know if anyone caught this the other day uh, on Fox 2. They profiled a local couple, uh, Danielle and Jeremy Borton, who have spent, I believe, the 13th uh, Valentine's Day in a row at White Castle. They've made this a family tradition. They've made it a thing. Yeah. And we're going to try and get a hold of them. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was, it was a cute story. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to try and see if, uh, if, we'll, uh, if they'll talk to us about they're, that. They're the White Castle lovers. Yeah, right. Hello? Hey, is this Jeremy? Uh, no, I get the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, bye. That's the number you gave me. To Is call. that the number I gave you? That's the number you gave me. To call. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> that was John's proctologist. <laughs> See oh, what happens when you do this live? Okay, wait a minute. All right, you uh, know it's a good thing the show has structure. All right, give me the. Where's the number? <laughs> this Let's is see. the number you gave okay, me right there. Let me check. There we go. This is what happens when you fly by the seat of your pants. Oh, oh. I, <laughs> he gave me the no, wrong number. I gave you the right number. Oh. I think you wrote it down oh. wrong. Oh, no. One digit well, off. Go All ahead right. and try it again. Try that again. All right, let's do this again. All right. All right. So and to there. the gentleman that we just woke up here, you're, you're welcome, Mike. <laughs> well, you know what? Say good morning. That was a wake-up call. If right. you want us to call somebody to wake them up, we can do that. <laughs> That's the right that number, That could be right? a side business. It sure could. Mike and John wake you Our up. Our wake-up call. Yeah. For you. At this point, you know. All right, you ask this time, just in case it's the wrong number again. Good morning. Hi, is this Danielle? Yes. Hey, good morning. Hey, Danielle, it's Mike and John from Mike and John Got It Going On. Hi, guys. And Well, good morning. Is is Jeremy up too? Oh, yeah. All right, well, all right. Well, we're on, <laughs> we're on the speaker with the speakers. So yeah, that's, hey. That's pretty cool. So we saw your story on Fox 2. And um, so this is this was the thirteenth year at uh, celebrating Valentine's Day at White Castle. I, yeah, I can't even believe I'm saying that, but it is thirteen years. So Danielle, let me let me ask you: Is this something that, if I remember right, Jeremy kind of initiated this the first time around for the first romantic dinner for Valentine's Day at uh, at White Castle? Yeah, I think we both had seen the sign, um, and. I think it was just in the back of my mind, like, was that really something that they do? <laughs> and, and then he decided to go ahead and check it out because he saw the sign, too. And it ended up being something that we both enjoyed. Right. And, yeah. and, and, you know, looking back 13 years on, of course, you, you, you know, you'll go, well, this has been this fun family tradition that we've got going on. And now you bring your kids. And, and that's wonderful. It's a great story. I just wonder when you got that first call from Jeremy. And, and I know he said he kind of did it on a on a whim, sort of like as a, a, you know, a prank almost. But that first time where you're like, really? Or were you, <laughs> you know, really? I said, okay, we can do this. Yeah. Um, I, I 
can do it, but we have to go out for a fancy meal. Right. <laughs> okay. This is kind of the fun one. It's kind of like when you go card shopping and you get the humorous card and then you get the romantic yeah. card. Right, right. So this was kind of the, yeah, yeah, this will be fun kind of thing. So were you married at the time or was this uh, pre-marriage? Yeah, we were just dating. Uh. We were boyfriend and girlfriend at that point. And, and, and then you still got to seal the deal. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got a special one, Jeremy. It definitely, definitely it kept the bar really low from yeah. the other <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and, uh, and, you know, so through the years, obviously, you know, you guys have kept coming and now you, you bring both your kids. Um, and, you know, I guess the thing I, I thought was uh, neat about it was like, and I think that what you said was about, you know, sometimes people take Valentine's Day way too seriously and, and not to over, you know, uh, estimate, you know, the value of romance or love, but it becomes sort of a hallmark holiday a little bit contrived, yeah, yeah. I guess. And I just think it's a neat way that you guys have sort of taken this and just made it, you know, kind of a fun family thing. Yeah, to be honest with you, um, just looking back over all the years, how much more fun was it going there and laughing about the candlelit dinners and, um, you know, having a fun family get together than it, than it really is when you're sitting in a stuffy restaurant. It, <laughs> it's actually been a lot more memories and a lot more enjoyable. All right, so let me ask you this. Do you have, you know, if you're going out to a fancy dinner, obviously you have to dress up a little bit more. When you go to White Castle, maybe it's sweats and a T-shirt or, or what? Oh, no, no, we, we get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, I, oh, I think the first year we did, I wore a shirt and tie and Danielle was dressed up. And, yeah, I think this year was the most dressed down we were. Yeah. Right. I, I know you said, you know, last year because of the pandemic, you, know, you kind of had to do it outside in the car. Was that the same this year? Or were they yeah. allowing you back in? So they the lobby was open, but this year they actually it was kind of really kind of devastating to us. Uh, a couple of months ago, they announced that they weren't doing the reservation, and it was funny because it was it was on the news. But how I found out was all my friends texted me and they're like, "What are you going to do?" <laughs> <laughs> so in an emergency case, though, Jeremy, you could probably get the frozen burgers at the at the grocery store because White Castle does <laughs> sell them. <laughs> It's not the same, like... Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just yeah. saying, you know, in an emergency. Well, you know, so if, if since White Castle's not doing this anymore, are you, like, scouting out new chains to perhaps keep up the uh, the family tradition? I don't know. I think we're White Castle for life okay. at this point. Okay, fair enough. Right. Yeah. They're well, supposed, I mean, they're going to do it in the future. I think they were just trying to be cautious this year. Ah, sure. Well, and, and yeah, and, and good on them. Yeah, we all understand that. Um, and, and so let me ask, was there... Uh, over the years, do you have like the the traditional White Castle meal that you get for Valentine's Day? Um, I don't. It's kind of <laughs> we, we usually. What do we land on? I mean, we usually just do you know the sack of ten and fries, and uh, when they started making those chicken rings, then we we yeah. threw those in the kids. Yeah, the kids like, those are pretty know, good. Yeah. Kind of turn it into a bit of a smorgasbord. I mean, you're at White Castle, right? You know, it's like, you just got to try it. <laughs> well, that's true. Roll the dice and see what happens. Yeah. No, I, I, oh, go ahead. You know, it, the, the breakfast sandwiches at White Castle, that is my kind of go-to. And we don't go there often. This sounds really bad. Like, we're, we're like we go there every week. But, but they do make a breakfast sandwich, and it's a fresh egg and bacon. I mean, it's probably one of the better breakfast sandwiches you can get and so i usually throw one of those hey, are, are, you, are you getting yeah. paid for this anyway, we'll get, <laughs> you, I, think, I think we should <laughs> i think you should too your official white castle ambassadors <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't know if you remember and and that was the in the uh, fox two piece that was the hollow white castle right oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah that's right the, yeah now when that opened it was such a big deal because everybody was all fired up. Oh my gosh! Yeah. White Castle's coming to Howell. I we remember were camping out. I mean, people camping out the night before. The TV news stations from Detroit had copters flying over. We're like, "What is going on around here?" <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> Apparently, all right. Well, it's 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 kept the love alive for for you guys. Yeah. So uh, you know that's uh, it's great. It was just it's a fun story and and. Uh, you know, thanks for Fun thanks and for romantic. Yeah, now. well, yeah, of course. <laughs> and now I want one of those breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> All right. Well, uh, Danielle and Jeremy Borton, uh, thank you so much for uh, letting us, uh, you know, invade uh, your morning, <laughs> invade your morning a little bit. <laughs> And no uh, thank you. Yeah, All talking right. about your uh, your uh, your romantic experience at White Castle. And maybe next year on Valentine's Day we can uh, we can maybe we'll join you. Well, I guess that's going to ruin the romance. No, never mind. Yeah, third wheel. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, we appreciate you checking in with us this morning, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again next Valentine's Day or around there. Sure. All right, great. guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, All right, you too. too. All right, it's uh, Mike and John, and I've got it going on. Mike and John at the uh, groovy little pod pad here yeah, on yeah. this Wednesday morning. We're expecting, you know, it's supposed to go into the 50, around 50 degrees today. That's crazy. So people will be wearing shorts, and then we'll be preparing for, what, three, six inches of snow or something. And that's coming Thursday in. Thursday night or something. Yeah, Thursday something. night into Friday morning. That's crazy. So. Now, you have to drive out here to get to the pod pad. Have we come up with a alternative plan for Friday? Well, I'll you know. call in sick, and you have to handle the show on your own. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on now. We have uh, you've got to follow the Mike and John got it going on podcast employee manual. Do we have that yeah. around here <laughs> somewhere? Right. I will me, write it. See. I'll write it later. <clears throat> I'm looking. I don't see anything <laughs> okay. around here in the podcast. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> so um, the other day, somebody when we first started doing this podcast, somebody took one of our old coffee mugs that they they right. had won when we were doing the radio show, and they. They made a mock-up version of our podcast mug. And we're actually going to talk to some folks today about coming up with some podcast mugs. But this one happened to have um, some uh, medical tape or hockey tape, yeah. if, if you will. Do we have a picture of it? I, I'll work All on right. it. John's working on the picture. But uh, they, they kind of doctored it up, so to speak, with our Mike and John podcast. Mike and John got it going on podcast mugs. So we're looking into that. And then somebody else took one of the travel mugs and put real Band-Aids on it. Yeah. <laughs> it I, was awesome. I know, which I thought was, you know, and some of it's, these things, and they're doing it tongue-in-cheek, but then we're looking at them, we're like, these hmm. are actually kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we are working on that, yeah. for those that are interested. And people have asked about, yeah, about some sort of merchandise. And I, and I, I want to remind folks that this is show four, <laughs> okay? We're... Figuring it out, are we? Uh, well, <laughs> are we really? <laughs> so <laughs> day um, by day, right? But I do. So for those folks who have asked, and a lot of people have asked, and I understand, and, and we are overwhelmed by the enthusiasm. Here, put your fingers back. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I this is how yes. John does this. Yes. In the I studio, mm, mm, mm. I've got an idea. Yes, yes. <laughs> we were, this is when I go. Oh crap! <laughs> okay, what yes, now? We've got them out. Right? <laughs> we want them. No, um, <laughs> it's stupid camera. Um, <laughs> So I can believe I wasn't going to say. Oh yeah. So uh, <laughs> the thing is, hmm. of course you did. <laughs> so the point of this is, is that uh, for people that have asked, uh, treat the the Mike and John got it going on Facebook page is kind of home base. All right, that's going to be HQ for everything we do. We're always going to link the podcast there. We're always going to post the video there. And so use that for folks who, you know, now we have a YouTube page and we have a SoundCloud page for our podcast. We're really big on YouTube now. <laughs> oh, God. We right. are. Oh, at least six people yeah. saw it. <laughs> we're, we're huge in Uruguay. Okay. And since I had to get dressed up today for uh, the show, no oh. no cheap product uh, what, what does that say, dude? Oh, it says made Mike's at Mike's, Mike's Fitness. fitness. Yeah. Who's, who, what's this Mike's Fitness you speak of? Here he does a heck of a job with are his Are you clients. going to buy ads on Mike and Jack got it going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a sip of water. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair no, enough. That, that's not yeah, fair. Yeah. Come on now. It's, you know. Uh, right. So just again, you know, our plan is, is that, you know, so we're recording this, uh, it's, you know, like about 640 right now and uh, in the morning. And our, we start around 630 each morning. We should have the podcast up by 8 a.m. The video will be up usually around 9. So look for it that way. Everything will be headquartered on the Facebook page. We are working on a website. Uh, that's hopefully down the road. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are working, so working on a website. Uh, so we've got it going on in many directions. In many directions. We're not really <laughs> a lot of balls juggling in the air, but we don't know how to juggle. So we're we're working on it, and we appreciate everyone's uh, patience and um, enthusiasm. And so many people have, you know, really stepped up, and and um, and we're just. We're really overwhelmed, but I, I know I am. Because uh, when we started this, we were like, I guess we'll do this and see what happens. <laughs> we'll throw it up in the air and you see know, what happens. We're, we're both jobless. <laughs> I guess we got another And our wives are tired of us. Yeah, Go like, hang out yeah. somewhere. <laughs> so, um, but, so the initial enthusiasm has just been really well, overwhelming. A lot of contact through the Mike and John got it going on uh, Facebook page, you know, messages and, and things of that nature. So we'll throw this out there. If you have an idea for the show, 
uh, let us know. If you, you have uh, somebody you think is interesting that we should talk to here in Livingston County or, right. or close by, it doesn't really matter. Um, just fun people, local events. Yeah. One of the things that's coming to downtown Howell soon are public restrooms. Isn't that cool? Well, yeah, the, the city of Howell and the county, Livingston County, they had to work out a deal because the city wants to put some downtown restrooms, which I know a lot of folks, I mean, if you go down to the concert to the courthouse. People or, peeing in the alley, you, you don't want that. Well, you really, your, your option yeah. is you either have to try and use one of the restrooms in a business, which, right. you know, that's problematic, uh, or you got a porta potty. You know, right. if, if they're having an event, and you know, those are speak for themselves. <laughs> uh, so yeah. having a, a an actual, you know, uh, constructed restroom, <clears throat> but yes. this has been a process. And you there know, were some stipulations too, from right. what I understand, they were talking about stainless steel, uh, but, <laughs> but you know, with the shipping and everything well, that's yeah, going on, yeah, yeah. we gotta make some adjustments here, right. as far as the sinks <laughs> and everything else. So we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later on uh, in the show. Yeah. One of the things, as John said, you know, I drive over here to the, uh, our, our little, makeshift studio here yeah. which it, it is quite impressive for your basement we're thinking of expanding if this Wait, goes big is it though is it really, <laughs> it really should, is. should we give them a tour sure let's do All a right. tour i'll tell you what you got to stay with the microphone i have to stay with the microphone okay yeah. i will stay with the microphone but i can't see where you're going oh you so. know what i just realized <laughs> that, <laughs> that that we lost the plug <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Never mind. We won't give you a tour I, of the studio. No, no, no. We, up, I, think we can, can I think you. we can do it now. Oh, so okay. I think until the moment I just plugged in the microphone, <laughs> I think, I hope, <laughs> the first 15 minutes of this video may be silent, but I don't think so. I think it's just using the microphone that's in the camera. As long as you know what you're not But doing. then I just plugged in our actual external mic. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Uh, all right. Should so, we start over? You want to start <laughs> no, no, we're not starting over. Okay. We're not starting that's, over. That's fine. We can uh, sync up the, something. Right. right. We'll figure it out. Yeah, you will. Right. Uh, all right. So you stay here at the microphone. All right. I'm all staying right, right and here. And I'm going to, uh, I'll narrate. You're, you're going to narrate. Because you got to, because the, the, we're still doing the podcast. Well, yeah. That's, the, okay. <laughs> Okay. I don't so, know why you but, want to give a tour of this. It's really not that well, big we, of a place. We, we, it's we about got, eight we gotta, by ten. We got to take up some time. All right. So. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so here right. we go. Going on the tour. All right. So where are you right. headed first? To the uh, back forward. This right. uh, is uh, where we decided to right. put. Actually, the first TV interview we did with TV Six after we uh, left our former jobs. Right. There was a, a hole in the wall that was patched kind of sloppily. So John decided we should have a background. Right. And that's what you're seeing right now. Is this? It's it's like one of those changing room things, like when. <laughs> well, it's a divider. I mean, yeah. it's like from one of those '60s movies where somebody's changing. You see them throw their their clothes over the top when somebody's talking to them from the other side of the room. You know what I'm talking? Like an Elvis movie or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, is Anne Margaret behind here? <laughs> Anne? No. All right. We'll, we'll so this is the part that people saw. <laughs> this is the part they thought we were in a tool shed. Yeah, now John's showing the, yeah. the piece that uh, looks like somebody put their hand through the wall and then passed it up a little bit. We're not really <laughs> sure what happened there, if it was a previous home yeah. owner okay. or if it was just something All right. that... Uh, Here's my impressive CD collection. Uh which you know is impressive no longer. All right, pick and, out a CD. Uh, and then, um, and this, these are my star. These are my Star Trek plushables. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. And then you know what? Actually, I do want to show this. This is kind of a cool thing over here. We, when we, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kelly, what? You spit it out. What did we what? Our, <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> what did we do? Uh, of course, you remember Renee Tchaikovsky? Remember Renee? The Great Fudini. Remember the Great Fudini? And her daughter served in Afghanistan. Yeah. And the unit that she was with, we helped do a, a, a supply drive. Hey, you got to narrate this for the podcast, oh, I'm folks. sorry. I'm, I'm listening to you. <laughs> they I'm can't hear me. Before. I'm over here with the camera. <laughs> well, come on back. We're All right. So anyway, camera. yeah. So anyway, they sent us this uh, cool picture of them holding up these banners and um, and this nice uh, you know uh, certificate they gave us, and this beautiful flag that they flew over their base in Afghanistan, and um, you know super honored by that. And so uh, this is part of the flag, which is really cool. yeah. And so I you know bought a, a you know a flag uh, frame and put this all together. So yeah, I don't uh, think anybody on the podcast can really hear you. You just uh, that's why you're supposed to narrate it. Can't talk over you. All right, fine. You know, all right. This is like 
Sorry, can we get some semblance back to this over? Show? Yeah, you know, I as guess. I was on my way over here. I, I've been I've been testing out different places. Here's all my numerous news awards, if you'd like. <laughs> for for news, yeah. Wait, you want to okay. do some news today? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> can you give us a so, newscast? I'm not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> you just disconnected us. Over no, I didn't. I, I can't see us. Over oh here. well, no, there the screen just all right. Off. Okay, it's, all a right. Screen screen. it's a screen It's a screen So I'm on my way over. <laughs> When I come over to the groovy little pod pad, okay. I usually stop for coffee, and I've been trying to stop at different places because right. I want I want to find the best coffee. And if anybody wants to make a Mike and John brew, right, that would be really nice. But um, sometimes I, because I don't want to wake John's family when I get here. Sometimes I'll go and use the, the men's room. Good luck. And <laughs> and at three different places, I see etching on the mirrors in the men's room. Like people have, you know how people used to write on bathroom walls. Right, right. It's, it's etching on the mirrors. I've I mean, not seen this. Who phenomenon. has time for this crap? You're in. So, so you they're go scratching to a message out on yeah. the mirror. Okay. And, and some I can't. I don't understand what there's what it is. And I didn't want to stand there too long. And look, that's just a little weird. But who has time or the desire to do, to do your etch. business and get the hell out yeah, of there? I'm washing my hands and I'm going. Who has time for this? I got a show to do with John and the groovy little <laughs> pod pad. So, well, yeah. The show brought to you by Firehouse Doors in Howell, by the way. Of course. Uh, Livingston County serving residents past 24 years and it's veteran owned. Mike serving in the U.S. Air Force. He was deployed for Operation Desert uh, Shield and Desert Storm. And it is your one stop shop for residential, commercial, and rolling steel overhead door needs. Uh, for the past 21 years, Firehouse Doors has been Livingston County's only authorized distributor for CHI overhead doors. Number to call, 810-599-7480. Talk to Mike. He'll get you all set up. Right. And until April 1st, when you call Firehouse Doors, you can tell Mike and John sent you, and they will save 5% off your entire bill. No exclusions apply. And in fact, uh, I was talking uh, with uh, Mike and Kim last night, and they were saying how one of their customers, who I believe is down in Florida, saw the ad and was like, oh, I'm so glad you guys are supporting them. That's awesome. Um, they said, you know, we're, they were going to do some work from there. We're not going to be back until, you know, back up north until after April. So we won't be able to take, you know, advantage of that. But gosh, you know, we really appreciate it. And then Mike Kim said, you know what? Don't worry. We will, we'll fold you in. It's and like now, a voucher. Right. And now, now that I'm saying this on the podcast, I'm sure Mike and Kim are like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's going to want to be folded Look in. Look at you giving away the house. <laughs> so I'm only saying that to the extent of, that's the kind of people they are at Firehouse Doors. They really do take care of their customers, and, uh, and they do treat you like family. I mean, you hear that sometimes, and it's trite. Uh, I am a customer myself and uh, have always received a, a just exceptional service. So uh, if you have any sort of uh, garage door needs, uh, they are the folks to talk to. All right. You know, I, I was another thing I observed on my way over today was uh, school bus is getting fired up and ready to go to, to pick up the kids. Right. And uh, I think we should declare today School Bus Driver Day. Oh. It, Mike and John's School Bus Driver Day. Is there not already a School Bus Driver Day? Though? I don't know. Okay. But, but we're this, is our this is today. Here in Livingston County, we salute all the all bus right. drivers because we know what you have to put up with. When you're, you know, and, you know, you, you have to love kids if you're going to be a bus driver. Am I right? Um, because yeah. there's a lot going on there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, depending on the age. Now, I only took a bus... For like ninth and tenth grade, when I was going to Catholic Central, right, and um, our bus driver. Now, keep in mind, this was a long, long, long time ago. Our bus driver's name was Ray, and, and Ray, Ray was this really old guy, and he had a um, he would always wear a hat like um, Elmer Fudd, you know, with the ear fold down ear things, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and and one of those jackets with the fur on the collar, wow. you know, like McLeod. <laughs> Remember McLeod? I do remember McLeod. <laughs> Dennis Weaver as yeah. McLeod. So he had a jacket like that. And he would smoke while he's driving. Well, <laughs> was, 70s. Yeah. Man. I mean, he'd drive the door open. He's missing like six teeth. Hey, good morning. And he'd hop on the bus and, and we'd so, tell Ray to turn on the radio or whatever. And we had, we always had debates on what station to listen to. So, so is this supposed to be complimentary of school bus drivers? You telling this story about <laughs> Ray, well, no, I'm sure most at sixteen, <laughs> like McCloud. <laughs> no, he didn't look like McCloud. He was too small. Oh, okay. He was only he was, oh, okay. he was really short. He's shorter than I am, so he was like right, five right. foot three. You know? By the way, you're not <laughs> he had far a hard off. time reaching the pedals. You're not far off. School bus driver appreciation day is February twenty third. Oh well, we're just celebrating early. Yeah, yeah. a little but premature. This, this this is a, but this is we're gonna say this is Livingston County school bus driver yeah. appreciation day as declared by Mike and John. You know, we should have a school bus driver as part of the show. You think? They can check in from the bus. I, I don't know if they're allowed to do that, but 
you know, because it's uh, not maybe, the seventies anymore where yeah, you can no. just smoke it. <laughs> just, just, yeah, hey, get out! You know, I think of Otto on the, the Simpsons. You know, get out, dudes. Uh, <laughs> we had that guy too when Ray wasn't available. We had another guy, and I think his name was Mike too. You know, but he, yeah. he he was kind of the hippie. He was it, a young guy, right? Probably the protege for when Ray passed on. I remember. I actually have a school bus story. Uh, when I was in, this is true, kindergarten. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, I started young. So, of uh, I remember, you know, I was on the bus, and I would, uh, while the bus was driving, I would often get up from my seat and walk over, because my friend was on the other side of the bus or whatever, and I would get up and I'd want to go talk to him or whatever. Yeah. And the bus driver would be like, you can't get up while we're driving, sit down, stop talking. And they didn't have seatbelts on the buses no, then, too. No. We didn't have seatbelts, so, you know. Do they have them now? I don't know. I don't think they do. I don't know. Um, but don't anyway. Know. School bus was like that. Let's hope not. Uh, so, yeah. There's a creepy yeah. man in the school. That would be a little weird, wouldn't it's it? true. So anyway, so the bus driver, you know, kept warning me, kept warning me and said, I'm going to I'm gonna talk to your parents if you don't stop doing this. And so the, eventually, you know, one day dropping me off, said something to my dad about how, you know, and my dad's like, oh, I'll talk to him. And my dad said, don't, you've got to stop doing that. And of course, I didn't. I, by the way, I'm in kindergarten. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little punk right from the top. Yep. So uh, there was like a second warning, I think. And then my dad said, he goes, look, and the bus driver said something to my dad again. And my dad really, like, you know. Did you said, get banned from the bus? No, worse. Reprimanded? No, worse. So my dad said, look, there's going to be severe consequences if you do it again. All right? And so <laughs> kindergartner. Kinder I just want to keep <laughs> in mind. Severe consequences. So, so I'm like, Roll you know. For, sure, for you. Sure, dad. Okay. So whatever. <laughs> Did it a third time. And the bus driver said something to my dad. And I remember I was like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get spanked, whatever. And um, <laughs> my dad, my dad just was like, okay, no problem. And didn't say anything to me. Next morning, and I'm because I'm a kindergarten, I'm a dumb little kid. I don't think about it. My dad hands me an envelope, and he's I could give this to your teacher when you get to school. I'm like, okay. So I'm and I'm just a dumb little kid. Okay, though I don't put two and two together. I get to school, I hand the thing to my <laughs> the envelope to my teacher. She opens it up, and then she's like, okay, come with me. All right, to me, takes me to the principal's office, the assistant principal, whatever, and. Um, Shows the letter. My dad wrote a letter, 70s, mind you. This is the 1970s. My dad wrote a letter telling the principal to paddle me <laughs> because I had not listened three so your times. your dad yeah. passed a disciplinary action. Kind of. Onto the principal. But I think he knew, and, you know, my, my, my parents weren't big into, like, physical discipline. They would spank us every now and then, if, you know, whatever. They didn't but, hit you hard enough. No, <laughs> apparently he thought so. So he's like, oh, yeah, you got to go for a paddling. Yeah. So, I mean, literally, my dad sent me. I mean, I'm, and I thought about it later. I'm like, hey, <laughs> what the hell? You, I carried my own death sentence. What the hell are you doing? But uh, I will say this. It was a paddle permission slip. Right, and I got paddled. I mean, you know, and it wasn't. You know, he liked it so much, he went back every day for another one. <laughs> I never, I never got up. I sat down and shut up yeah. on the bus after that. So, boy, all this for bus pre <laughs> Take that for <laughs> appreciation <laughs> day. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe that's. I don't know. Maybe that's not a great story. I <laughs> now well, I think about now it. You, now that you pondered that, maybe let's I go should, with the fingers thing. Maybe I should talk to a counselor. <laughs> I feel like well, that, maybe I brought up some deep sale, dude. I just, just brought up some deep seated <laughs> psychological thing. That okay. All right. All right. Hey, a couple of the things that are, are coming up. Not today, but uh, down the road a bit. Down the road a piece. Yes. Uh, Uncle Bill's going to be joining us for School of Fools. He wasn't available this week because he's probably on some kind of comedy tour or something or getting great material to stump us with or he's, hung, be, or he's hung over he could be hung over yeah. too i don't know but uh yeah uncle bill's going to be joining us uh, in the future for future podcasts and uh and youtube episodes for school to fools he um he said he's really fired up for it so we're looking forward to that uh we probably will be talking with uh, laura mandernack one of these days to find out what's up with laura mandernack of course last uh, we we chatted with her she was um getting blood drawn for blood donation right before Valentine's Day, too. So we'll find out how that all all came about. And you talked to, uh, speaking of the great Fudini, brought up just a minute ago, yeah. you, you talked to her recently, and uh, she's doing well, and hopefully will join us on a future podcast as well. The only thing is, out. she'll probably be joining us by the phone, so we, we don't get any bacon on no, the deal. No, no. No that's bacon. That's true. Deal. So that's You know, exactly. if somebody else wants to step up and be the official bacon provider for the Mike and John Got It Going On podcast, we are available for that. Bacon and, and coffee. Yeah. Or if they want to stop by White Castle and pick up that breakfast sandwich that Jeremy was talking about. I'm telling you. So 
Uh, those are a few things we're working on. As, as John said, this is a work in progress here, and um, hopefully we'll get it all together. Hopefully. <laughs> One of these days. <laughs> what do you mean? We got it going on, Oh, that's man. right. We got it going on. We got I'm it sorry. going on. Yeah. So uh, other things going on? What? Like, see how I left you in suspense? Oh, yeah. I was, uh, what? Um, we are going to have a photographer that's going to be our official Mike and John got it going on photographer yeah. joining the show next week. Right? right. Christina Maria Photography of Brighton. They have uh, signed on and so uh, officially start next week. But thank thank you to Christina for, for her support. And, uh, and, and like I said, when we started this, we just thought, well, this would just be something to occupy. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? And just the amount of support that people have stepped up. Obviously, the people that are listening and enjoy the show, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and then for those who have uh, you know, stepped up and say, we want to support this. We want to see this continue. Uh, that has been really gratifying. And we're, we're talking with some other folks as well. And, um, you know, like you were saying, we're just kind of getting this underway. And as we grow the show, and that's really what's happening, as we grow the show, we look to be able to provide kind of more of that community focus that people really want. Right? <laughs> Sorry, did I right? Up for a Absolutely no. Okay. Or we're going to go to Cancun. Um, but no, we're not going to Cancun. Not together. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, that, would, that would be just wrong. Well, we'll take a school bus. <laughs> well, I'll take a school bus. So if anybody knows a bus driver that may want to become, this all started because I saw buses right. uh, warming up to get the, the kids today. Uh, if anybody knows a bus driver, or if you're a bus driver, a school bus driver, and you want to be a part of the show, right? I think it would be kind of fun because uh, I think we've all had our bus driver moments. Or if I you're just a told driver, you mine. <laughs> that 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 was a little way, way beyond Ray the smoking bus driver. I, I, I'm sorry that that I had, but that was my school bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever go to camp? Yeah, I mean, like with school, because we did fundraisers when I was in right. uh, elementary school. We had to do fundraisers to go to camp. And it was, uh, we'd have like hot dog day every Friday. Okay. So that way, because we didn't always have hot lunches like like the kids have today. These kids you know, these days. It was like, oh, Friday's hot dog day. You get your little milk carton, your hot dog, and it was a big to-do. Right. And if you were lucky, the candy store was open, and you could get one of those Lifesaver lollipops. Remember the Lifesaver lollipops? I do you? remember. And I don't think they make those anymore. Lifesaver lollipops? They don't. The Lifesaver lollipops. You know, it's like the giant Lifesaver on a stick. I guess they don't. Yeah. I don't think they make those anymore. I, I bet you they do. I don't think I they do. I bet you they do. I don't think they All make right, those right. anymore. I could be wrong, but it's right. it's been a while been a while since I'm I've been at the candy at store to All right. to check out. Hey, speaking of public bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were talking about Howell and uh, public bathrooms coming to downtown Howell. So we're going to look into this this morning. Um, yeah. See, they got them. They got lifesaver lollipops. Yeah, those aren't the, not on a stick. Yeah, yeah, no. on a stick right here. Lolli lollipop fruit variety. They're on a stick. Take a look at that. Can you get me a cherry flavor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you order that? Is that in the budget for the show? <laughs> All right. We're we're gonna give Kate Litwin a call from uh, the city of How Don the DDA. Yeah. Uh, about the uh, the bathroom situation. The public. <laughs> 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 Okay, what's the bathroom situation? <laughs> Let's start with that. Good morning. What? Is this Kate and her dogs? It is Kate and her dogs. <laughs> I'm going to Oh, that's okay. Her. Yeah, it's what, okay. Stop barking. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, we both have dogs too. Right, right. Okay. What, what kind of dog do you have? Um, she's a gigantic 140 pound St. Bernard. Oh, oh my wow. gosh! You, now, when do you want bathrooms in Howell? <laughs> <laughs> so when she works, it is. Um, I guess so. What's your dog's name? Her name is Mackenzie. Mackenzie. All right. Now that's a long name to call out to the dog. Mackenzie, time to come in. Well, when she's really bad, it's Mackenzie Marie. Oh, oh middle yeah. name. Yeah. Okay. Why did you give the dog a middle name? Just Kenzie. Did you? Oh, did now? Did you give Mackenzie a middle name, knowing that you would have to call it in anger? Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know, right. I can honestly say I've never had a dog that I've given a middle name to, I and I've no. had dogs almost all my mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. so, but but so. that's interesting. Yeah, okay? I'm a little bit better, you know. Right. 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 Absolutely. All right. Especially you know days like this where it's all snowy and all she wants to do is be outside. So, well, yeah, I mean, in, in days like this, yeah, I mean, I've got a smaller dog, and I have to go shovel off a piece of my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> right outside it's the door. It's just a little path. I thought it was for me. <laughs> right. But no, it's for, so, for a little rocky. Yeah. 
So, uh, you know, because I'm like, I'm not giving you a walk here. Go out and do your business and get back in here. Um, so, so let's let's get since oh, we're I'm talking sorry. about doing your business. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> bathrooms coming to public restrooms coming to downtown Howell. Now, where are these going to be located? They are going to be located. So there's the county parking lot that's directly behind the courthouse on Clinton Street. Um, typically, uh, most people use it for the farmer's market, right. et cetera, between the courthouse and First Baptist Church. It'll be on the southeast corner of that parking lot. Okay. Uh, so now I'm trying to envision that. Is that right by the dumpster or kind of the kitty corner? Kind of... East side, so east side. Okay. all the way on the other side of the parking lot. Now, I know that, uh, you know, it's a couple of folks I mentioned this to, they're all like, yes, when are these going to open? <laughs> you know, uh -huh. like, the, and obviously the need for this has been apparent for a while. Absolutely. Yeah, no. um, yeah did we have a target date? We do have a target date. Um, we're hoping either late spring, early summer. Um, probably would have happened a little bit earlier but with the supply chain issues right, in the past right. few months and you know all of the issues that have <laughs> transpired that's about the earliest we could get it in so it's so exciting to be you know, able to, but it know, will be in place yeah but it will be in place for the the summer you know co concerts at the courthouse and all the summer events Melon and farmers Festival. market and things like that correct for the right. bulk of our summer events it will be in place and yeah. ready to go and it will relieve our downtown merchants. Hey, oh, Kate, we, we have a special request, Kate. If you don't yeah, mind, yeah. John and I would like to be the first to break into men's room. Oh. We want to be the first. <laughs> could we do? <laughs> kind of christen it, if you don't mind. Um, you know, I think we could probably arrange that. You know, maybe. I, mean, we'll, I, I didn't know if anybody would really take one for the team. It'd be the first person. To uh, go well, down. oh, we'll take yeah, one for the you team. Know what? Maybe we should do a podcast from the pee room. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know what? If you'd like, we could maybe do a podcast once it's ready and it's yeah. officially open. We could do our podcast from the new bathrooms. Silence. <laughs> we left her speechless. She's like, uh, well, whatever, weirdos. Uh, <laughs> now, I know that you've got some options on the on the bathroom fixtures you were considering between stainless steel and porcelain. Correct. And, and what, what, um, what happened there? there? What happened there? Well, the supply chain issues happened there. Ah. Yeah. If we had gone with, you know, between the time that we started this project and really started looking at it seriously, knowing that we had enough money in the budget to do this, in the time that we were able to or finally order the bathrooms and get everything going, um, the cost of stainless has gone up dramatically. It was a 40% increase, and it was going to delay installation of the bathrooms for it, probably they wouldn't get installed till late summer, early fall. And we want these things in place, and we know for that extra 40%, if something were to break, we can easily replace porcelain fixtures. And everything is still going to be, you know, low maintenance. It's going to be hosable. You know, that was our biggest thing is low maintenance, really difficult to break, um, and, you know, keep it as clean as possible. So, you know, we're going to have great bathrooms. It's do you, do you have a prototype for this? I mean, a picture of what, you know, like you, you obviously probably had to have some type of, this is what it's going to look like and, and have somebody that designed the bathrooms. Yes, we do. Um, the company specializes in this type of fixture in downtowns, parks, public areas. Um, it's a four stall unit, so it'll be gender neutral. We're not going to, you know, we won't have men's room women's room so you guys can go in you know any of the stalls for your I podcast see. you can be right next to each other and be fine <laughs> so, can you spare a square okay <laughs> so these are four like will there be like four doors to like the four separate chambers? you'll have your own private chambers i guess or or correct okay um, you'll have your own private chambers so every you know it'll, it's, it's kind of like the king's pepper you know <laughs> i'm in chambers right now excuse me i'm <laughs> Why are you doing here with the newspaper folded up under your arm? Hey, 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 people gotta go. There should be a timer on these things or like dings and the door just automatically opens and your time is up. You gotta get out. Right. There should be a timer like you have 20 seconds, finish it up. You know, maybe punch in a code. You, you know, if you know you're gonna be there a little longer, they give you yeah, five exactly. minutes. <laughs> you know, this could be a revenue generator for the city if yeah. you put like a swipe card on there. <laughs> You know, if you want extra time, that's five bucks a minute. You know, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a toll, <laughs> like a toll booth. You know, you need a scan card, and you know, we'll bill you later. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, you guys float that one past council. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. All right, all right. Uh, well, this is exciting news for downtown Howell. You know, I mean, there's a lot of activities going on, and uh, rather than people going into into businesses and saying, yeah, you mind if I use your bathroom? <laughs> you got this. So yeah. that's, that's exactly. good. So this will be very nice. We're more people downtown than ever. You know, we're adding in the health summit gardens. I mean, the people all downtown all the time. Right. And they really do. We, we do. We need this amenity for our guests and our visitors downtown. Well, so. and it really is. It's a, it's a necessary component if you really want to have a, a very walkable downtown area where people come and, and not just going to one destination, but just come to the downtown and enjoy the entire I area. Think, I think we need a christening, a band, and, and everything else to, to, to break this thing open and say, look, here it is, everybody. Come on downtown to Howell and do your business. Right. Absolutely. There is a plan to also adorn it with a mural to make it not look so, you know, bathroom-like and more you know, oh. pretty and fancy. And a mural, you so, say? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, so we get all of that. Place, you know, you guys no. know. We've, we've got a photographer we're bringing on board to the podcast yeah. that could just maybe come up with a great idea. You know, maybe we could, uh, to, like, Mike and John and, uh, on, on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> you know something uh, else. Uh, I, I don't know about that. Maybe one. not. Okay. For you. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe not. But um, yeah. So very cool. I, I mean, we're having fun with it and, and laughing around. But it is a, a, a great development for for downtown Howell. And obviously, I know after the last couple of years, for you know, we don't have to go into why, but I mean, it's really looking forward to. Uh, a great summer season this uh, this year for the downtown businesses and for the city to just kind of uh, you know get back into the swing of the summer events and things like that. Yeah, do you think we'll be having all the uh, the festivities going on downtown? Um, yeah, I think so. Howell Main Street is planning a very full schedule, bringing back food truck rallies, food truck Tuesdays, the Howell Art Project, our Rock the Block music series. Mike and John Day. <laughs> Mike, but, Mike and John Day. Mike and John Day. Mike, Mike and John got Mike it going on Day. Day. I mean, yeah, yeah let's take a day. Um, <laughs> and we're bringing a new event, um, Oktoberfest, to oh, downtown oh. this year as well. So that is going to be super fun. You know, we're going to have Nolan Fest. That's a collaboration between a lot of different organizations right. this year. So there will be something to do all the time, and it's so exciting. I'm uh, so happy and, to finally get back to norm. Well, yes, to yes. And, normal. and now there'll be a place to do it, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thanks for putting up with our nonsense, Kate. Uh, no problem. You know, I never thought that I would have so much fun talking about bathrooms. You know, <laughs> Neither do we. Such an accomplishment. I'm so excited to bring them home. All right. All right. Well, Kate Litwin. Uh, director of Hal DDA, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, now let Mackenzie you. Marie out, will you? I, I will. I will. Okay. Like, just, I could hear her just sniffing at the door. Like, like, hey. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Thanks, Kate. Thank you. All right. Uh, before we uh, before we wrap things up, we've got the two cent history lesson to do. Yes. Today, February sixteenth. Today is. Are we beeping for a reason? I don't know. All right. Who um, today is Innovation Day. Be very innovative today. Mm. We've innovated with a tour of the Mike and John groovy little pod pad. The tour. Uh, it's National Almond Day. Almonds are good for you. Tim Tam Day. Tim Tam Day. Tim Tam. What's, I have no Tim idea Tam? what Tim Tam Day is about. Yeah, look that up, will you? It's also Daytona Pole Day. We'll just let that sit where it's at. Daytona Pole Day. Daytona Pole Day. Mm. I'm not sure why. What is Tim Tam? Tim is Tam is it some sort of. Uh, is it, candy bar? it looks like it. Yeah, I've never uh, had a Tim Tam. Uh, it's chocolate and nougat. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Isn't nougat is the weirdest say. thing I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> All right, now you know what Tim Tams are. Tim Tams are found in other countries around the world. I guess it's an Australian deal. Um, uh, it's like a candy. Yeah, mm. never heard of it. Now you know. Uh, do you need a favor done? Sure. Well, that's. <laughs> Today's your day because it's doing Grouch and Favor Day. Hey! <laughs> All right, other things happening on this date. 1861, Abraham Lincoln stopped the train at Westfield on his way to Washington to thank an 11 year old girl by the name of Grace Bedell. He thanked her in person for her advice, advising him to grow a beard to get more votes. Right. Wow. I think it worked. Grace, the very first presidential consultant. Advisor. Yes, yeah. so I think you should grow a beard. It makes you look more distinguished. And wear this tall hat. <laughs> it was my dad's hat. And I'm trying to get it out of the closet. 1923, 
Howard Carter opens his, the inner burial chamber of King Tut. Toot uncommon. Mm. King Tut. Smells a little funny. <laughs> funky Tut. How'd you get so funky, Funky Tut? <laughs> now we know. 1932, the first patent for a tree was issued to James Markham. A patent for a tree? It was a peach tree. Oh, okay. So well, he tree. obviously bred it to be yeah. a specific type of peach tree. So Those are fuzzy little peaches. Yeah. I don't really like peaches. <laughs> I don't really like peaches myself. You don't? No. How do you not like peaches? Well, the fuzz on them, and then they're just, they're mushy. It's a texture thing. Well, you got to get a good peach. You got to find it at the right. It's not too firm. It's not too high. It if it's mush, maybe that well, is. I don't know. Maybe that is. Maybe it's a firm peach. Yeah. <laughs> peach schnapps. Okay, we can go with that. Oh, orange juice, fuzzy navel. No. Nope. Bad, bad oh, memory. Oh, you had a bad memory? Oh, peach God. Nabs? <laughs> right back out. Ooh, not doing that again. 1937, DuPont Corporation patents nylon. It was developed by Wallace Carruthers. To his friends, it was Wally. Thanks, Wally, for the nylon. And that led to spandex, well, yeah. which led to Spanx. 1947. <laughs> Dead stop. <laughs> <laughs> the first commercially designed helicopter was tested in Connecticut, Bridgeport. Okay. Commercial chopper. Well, yeah. If it weren't for this day in Bridgeport, Connecticut, yeah. we would not have had the great TC. <laughs> Magnus <laughs> PI. He wouldn't have been able to give the island tours yeah. or anything like that. No, so. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have been the same. It would have been on a bike. 19... <laughs> yeah, that's just not the same. Hop on. Yeah, hop on. No. <laughs> no. 1969, the Beatles went to um, get a little bit more spiritual with transcend uh, transcendental, transcendental yeah. meditation. With that year is team. wrong. It's not, is it? 1969? Yeah. It was 1967. Oh, okay. Well, my people yeah. are not on it then. It was 67. How do you know? It was, you just know all it was your 67. Right. I thought it was 67. The Maharashi Mahesh Yogi. Maybe it was 68. Is that one? But it uh, definitely wasn't 69. Wasn't he trying to hit on the guys, uh, ladies? Or Sexy like Sadie that? on the White Album is about uh, is about the Maharishi because, yeah, he hit on their women. Yeah, <laughs> and they were like, hey, because, yeah. oh, come out here for transcendental spiritual and Go over there find and your inner I... self. And uh, wait, Kate Litwin has just texted us. That was fun. I could talk to you guys forever. Thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you turned your head to read it. Well, because it shows, because we're using my phone to teach. Yeah, so the texts come across anyway. All right, it was on this date in 1968. I think the date is correct. That the first ever 911 call was made in the U.S. Oh wow! I wonder what it was about. Was it a cat in a tree? <laughs> I don't know. So, I don't know. It didn't and, say. And if that hadn't maybe, happened, you know, we wouldn't have had William Shatner. You know, Shatner's you. coming to the Comic Con. I saw that. Yeah. I figured you'd have tickets already. Yeah. No, that's with okay. your little Star Trek no. plush collection that's in okay. the back. No, no. That's right. How old is he now, like 80, 90? Oh, he's 80 90. Something. I think he's 90, yeah. 1969, Detroit Red Wings captain Alex Del Vecchio picks up an assist in a 6-2 defeat over Minnesota, becoming the third player in NHL history to score 1,000 career points. Alex Del Vecchio. Yeah. I have an autographed picture of Alex. I'm oh, well, do box. you? Dad's well, in black and white. Well. Oh, I met Alex before when I was you a did. young lad at the, uh, uh, not Joe Lewis, what was before Joe Lewis, the other one. The other Olympia. One, Olympia. Yeah. yeah that's what I did. Okay. I was a little kid. How could right. I remember okay. that? I have a autograph picture of Sharon Stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you win. Okay. <laughs> we gotta we gotta start talking autograph pictures. I have one of William Conrad who played who played Cannon. And you know, it could be you. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that in tomorrow if I can okay. find it my All stuff. Right. I got my autograph thing. I, well, we could have dueling autographs tomorrow. 1999, O.J. Simpson's 1968 Heisman Trophy sold for $230,000 to help settle a civil judgment, the, the cost of the civil judgment against him. Okay. Crazy. 230000 Why would you want that? Because it's it has monetary value in some form or another just because of the notoriety. Yeah. But I agree. Why would any I, individual want it? Beyond its monetary value, but like, why would you want to get, yeah. I if I had $230,000, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be spending on that crap. I, I agree. And uh, finally, 2021, the U.S. winter storm continued. I understand we're expecting that snow this week. Uh, continues with Dallas recording its lowest temperature ever in 70, uh, in 70 years anyway, of minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember okay. that shutdown? Okay. Yeah. It crossed the gas went up everywhere, and we didn't know what to do because it snowed mm -hmm. in Dallas. Okay. And that's your two-cent history lesson. There you go. For today. All right. Is it uh, time to go yet? Yeah, it is time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. There's no bathrooms in downtown Howell yet. 
Once there are, we'll we're go gonna there. go. Yeah. So, uh, all right. We want to thank Firehouse Doors, of course, sponsor of Mike and John. Got it going on. Uh, Livingston County based, serving residents for 24 years. Family owned. They treat their customers like family. Don't forget, it is a veteran owned business. Uh, Mike serving in the U.S. Air Force. And of course, until April 1st, when you call Firehouse Doors, tell them Mike and John sent you, and you'll get 5% off your entire bill. And you give them a call, 810 599 7480. Well done. Well yes, done. I, th I thought so too. And to take us out, I think it's only appropriate. Are we allowed to do that? I don't know. We'll find out. Because <laughs> I thought we weren't allowed to play music on it. That would be good. So funky, funky talk. <laughs> You know my favorite part of this album? What? It was when you said, Grandpa bought a rubber. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah, we're on podcast. I'm going to say yeah, that. Yeah, we can I say Grandpa bought a rubber. <laughs> Funky touch. All right. Can we go now? I guess. Right. You want to listen to it. They line up just to see him. <laughs> And buy me a museum. Are you going to sing the whole time? <laughs> well, if you're going to play it. Okay. <laughs> we're done. All right. So now we're done. Okay. All right. Now, hopefully.